Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about my first impressions or kind of like a review or something of uh, version 1.5 for Genshin Impact. And I know not all of the content is out currently because we're probably going to get like the uh, second chunk of like events or whatever with the second banner, the Eula banner. But I feel like I have like a rough idea of how I feel about this portion of the patch up to this point. Um, and I want to kind of start off with just talking about like the story content so far. So we got a new quest line for Zhongli and I feel like it's a bit weaker than the initial Zhongli quest line that we did get. However, I will say it was pretty good, like learning about the mystery of what was going on with the miners and everything and seeing the introduction of Ajdaha. Um, it was pretty cool. It was a nice backstory and it kind of gave us a little bit of like more information regarding, uh, you know, the history of what was going on with like Rex Lapis and all that stuff. So again, very much appreciated in that regard. Um, also, again, to briefly talk about like Ajdaha, that boss battle to me, pretty interesting. I like it. It's uh, very similar to the Geo Vishap in my opinion. Um, that being said, you will probably want to have some sort of like geo or shield character in your party in order to like make this fight a little bit easier if you've been having a difficult time with it i would highly recommend having zhongli if you do not have him already and luckily for you the rerun banner is up for him right now so highly recommended to pull on him while you still have a chance and hopefully you do get him because he is extremely good very highly recommended uh the music in that battle incredible um i really like how like a lot of the abilities and everything really kind of force you to move around a little bit with like different aoe patterns and stuff like that extremely fun fight and it's a new weekly fight which is always going to be appreciated from me anyways so awesome moving on to the next bit of story content we got gen phase and uh it's not really my cup of tea <laughs> it's uh it's not bad by any means but I guess I'm just probably not into the whole, like, you know, legal, like, lawyer-esque, like, storyline. It's reminiscent of, like, the whole, like, funeral parlor thing with uh, Hu Tao and everything. And it's, uh, it's, it's just really odd. And, again, not that I don't find it, like, well put together or anything like that. It's just not really engaging to me, I guess. So, not a huge fan of Yen Fei's storyline, um, but the character herself, I got her, I think, like, C3 or something like that on my account, and she's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I do very much appreciate having another alternative to, uh, the other ranged pyro characters in the game, um, but that being said, I would probably opt for Klee over, uh, Yen Fei if, if you do have that option. Um, that being said... For me, I did not get Glee initially, so it's, a, it's very much appreciated to have Yenfei in my party. So, next thing outside of stories and everything like that there, uh, I just kind of want to talk about like the, the current event that we have going on. And the event is the Energy Amplifier Initiation event. So, this event to me is unique in a way, um, but also like similar to a past event that we did have in another way. And I'm sure you guys know what I mean, but I'm going to talk about like the first part of it, the unique side. And that's pretty much going out and like breaking these stones that are powering up the enemies. And then uh, once you beat the enemies, you end up getting awarded with a, a fragment. So these fragments can be slotted into a grid. And each of the fragments have like different benefits and stuff like that that can be applied to your teammates through like the battles that take place in this trial dungeon that also happens uh, in the second part that, I, that I'm going to get into. But... The first part of it kind of reminds me of, like, Materia, for some reason, from, like, Final Fantasy VII, where, you know, you're, you're really, like, trying to optimize your stats to uh, better benefit you with the trial matches and everything. So I really do like this. The, the pacing of this part of the event is it's pretty damn good, in my opinion. Um, but leading into the second part, the similar type part of this event, uh, it, it's just pretty much like a, a challenge trial again where you pretty much set like restrictions upon your characters and your team or whatever for the trial and they are temporary restrictions but you do so in order to improve your score that you're awarded if you are able to complete the trial so there's a total of four trials i believe at the time of recording this right now there's only two available so i haven't really gotten a chance to speak or see anything about the, like the third and fourth trial but from my experience with the first two I will say that they do feel a little bit more difficult than like the past time that we got this type of event. Um, that being said, 
I do feel like it may be a little bit easier for free to play players and also like limited uh, spending, I guess, on certain accounts and whatever. Uh, just because of like the whole uh, fragment system or whatever. So I feel like you can utilize that in order to better your chances of being able to complete the trials. And that's really nice. But again, for other people that have like wailed on this game and everything like that, it's really nice to see challenging content being added in for them. And I feel like a lot of them will agree. It is very nice to see this. And hopefully we get to see this type of event keep coming back. Um, it's very much appreciated. And the rewards from it, not really the greatest in my opinion, but not bad at all. Um, I do think they could be better, but <laughs> you know how it is. Um, okay, so that being said and out of the way, following up, the next thing that I want to talk about obviously is going to be the Serenity Pot, the new housing system that got added in. Um, for me personally, I like it. I don't really see myself going to it much outside of like after I'm done completing my trust ranks. And it's not because it's not like cool. It is really nice to be able to go in and like, you know, design your own area and everything like that there. And, you know, really just kind of, uh, I don't know, have a place that you can work towards making it cool for your friends to hang out and stuff like that. But I don't really usually play a whole lot of like co-op outside of doing certain trials and stuff like that so i don't really know if people are going to go and visit my serenity bot um and it's not as bad as i was thinking it was going to be in terms of like crafting stuff and everything the materials however i do wish there was some sort of alternative to be able to like uh i don't know like buy like loads of wood or something like that so that way i didn't have to go out to certain areas and smack on trees for you know a couple hours to gather materials so that way I can build stuff for my serenity pot place. Um, it is a little bit of a pain, but it's not horrible. Um, I do like a lot of like the housing designs and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of like the furnishings and everything that you can put into it. But I do hope that there's going to be like a lot more things added and I'm sure there will be in future patches, but for what we have right now, it's good. It's neat. I like it. A lot of people are going to agree that they really love this kind of thing. Um, again, Maybe a lot of people will be using it more than I will, but housing for me and playing other MMOs, usually something that kind of falls by the wayside and I don't really keep up with. But I'm not going to knock it. I do like it. I'm glad it's in the game. Uh, moving on to the final thing, I think, is uh, Hangout events. So we have the Hangout quest for uh, Diona, which in my opinion was very it's 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 weird it's it's kind of like borderline like daddy problems um without getting into spoilers but very interesting to see a bartender that doesn't want to serve alcohol it's uh it's interesting i've, I've done all the routes for for both diona's story and also the uh the second set of noel quests that we got and i will say out of the two um I feel like Noel's is probably slightly better than Diona's, but it's not really like I, I didn't really fussy a whole lot of them compared to like the prior set that we got. Like I really like the uh, the hangout events with Bennett, and also the uh, the very first Noel one was really good as well. But the uh, the second one was a little bit more weak. Um, it's it's nice to see that character growth and and again be able to have like the characters hang out and stuff like that and and learn a little bit more about them. Um, but they were kind of, eh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guys love them, but for me, eh, could be better. Um, I'd like to see a, you know, a Rosaria one or something would be pretty cool. As long as it's not, uh, you know, church duties and all that good stuff like, uh, Barbaros was, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think there could be some other better things. Like maybe give me a friggin' Tartaglia one or something, man. I, I, I think that'd be pretty sick. I want more hangout quests, but uh, the, the ones that we got were, eh, they were all right. So there's some other stuff, like I said, coming in the second part of this patch, and we'll probably end up getting that in like, I don't know, 10, 15 days or something like that. I, I don't know. Don't quote me on timing, but uh, I'm extremely excited for the Eula banner. I do think that she's going to be a fantastic character. I'm really, really excited to see like the, uh, the whole like EVPS, like hide and seek kind of cat and mouse like game that's going to be added in. Um, there's also something that I'm not looking forward to, which is more of the whole, like, 
Hilichurlian, I don't know how to say it, the friggin' language thing with uh, Ella Musk, I think her name is. I'm not really thrilled about that because that kind of reminds me of like Legend of Mana's friggin' uh, dub bear thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't want to have to write down a bunch of language and try to learn a new language for a game that's going to be like, you know, just a, a temporary event and I don't really care that much about it, but who knows, maybe it'll surprise me, maybe it'll be awesome. Um, and then the other thing, obviously, is like, you know, the overflow event where we're going to be getting extra talent items, and that is fantastic. Uh, other changes that I did want to briefly talk about, the uh, the whole thing with uh, reduced resin for, like, the older, like, boss fights and stuff like that, pretty sick. The uh, reduced, like, limitations, I guess, on uh, being able to, like, spend so much, like, uh, condensed resin and stuff like that, very much appreciated. Uh, I do like the new weekly boss fights, as I've talked about. I do like the the new uh, boss in general, the, the cryo uh, hypostasis. I do feel like it's a little bit more difficult than the other hypostasis fights. But again, maybe that's just my build. I don't know. Maybe I need to watch a video and learn how to do it a little bit better. But it's pretty cool. I do like it. Um, very weird how it kind of makes you like dash around and use that charge attack. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. That's pretty much my thoughts with Genshin Impact Patch 1.5 as it stands. Um, I don't know if I'll do an update for like the second half, maybe. I don't know. If you guys like it, if you guys don't like this type of video, then let me know in the comments below as well. But uh, if you guys did like it, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, I'll be trying to put in a little bit more Genshin Impact related content. So with that being said, I do appreciate you guys all very much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. You have no idea. Thank you. I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.